What's up YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator. It's been a while since I did one of these, but you guys, I'm here to share with you a book haul of some brand new books that just came out, and all of these books are published by Blue Star Press, formerly Blue Star Coloring. They're still producing coloring books, but they're also producing a variety of other books, you guys, and I've been so impressed by them. I've seen some of them featured on Instagram, and you guys, they're really, really nice. You guys have probably seen this one. I featured it in one of my hauls. I featured it in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. This book is called Transplants, and this is by Antonio Bond, and this book is really beautiful. You've probably seen me show some of the pages previously. Let's do a little flip through here. A lot of mixing living and non-living things, sculptures, um, art pieces with living flowers, trinkets and figurines with living things. Looks like we have some bromeliads here mixed with some really antique style roses. You don't see that color very often. And a lot of these items have a real vintage feel to them. If you guys are into non-traditional arrangements or into things that have sort of a vintage feel, then you guys will love this book. We even have some unripened blackberries here. Those are pretty beautiful. It's so hard to even share with you guys this page. Everything is black with a black background. We have some really bright images and we have some darker images. Look at this one. But I like books like this because it gives you ideas. Maybe some of these pieces you would find in a thrift store and you find a way to give them new life. Some unexpected mixtures. <laughs> and then we have an all white on white page. So that's just a sneak peek at Transplants, Eclectic Floral Design. Again, that's by Antonio Bond. And I'll link everything down in the description box for you guys. I have a nice box here full of brand new books that just came my way. This book is called Wholehearted, and it's a coloring book devotional by Jordan Lee. This book allows a person to have a 30-day journey. We have scriptures, I believe, on every other page or so. areas that we can color. A response, some questions, and an area for a prayer. And that's the format that we see throughout the book. Let's see if we can find a few more of the coloring sections. Let me just pick it up for a minute, see if I can find a couple coloring sections. Here's one. And here's another one. Again, that's Wholehearted, a coloring book devotional. Okay, let's see what else I have over here. This is called Life is Sweet, 
and it's a chalkboard coloring book. And you guys know how I feel about chalkboard coloring books. I just love the black background. I love that when you lay down some color, that color is going to pop. Or if you do various methods of shading with the black background, whatever you do, that color is going to pop, that texture is going to pop. I just think the book has such a beautiful display here with the gold foil on the front. Right away I'm noticing we have serrated pages. Adventure awaits. Baker's gonna bake. Maker's gonna make. Be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons. I like this size and I have to say I really like the quality of the paper as well. Be silly, be honest, be kind. Be beautiful. <laughs> Let me skim a little bit here because I think there's some cactus. Oh, cute. I think there's some cactus pages in here. Enjoy the journey. There's that truck. I would definitely color that red because I've been loving the little red truck image that we've been having this Christmas and winter. Live, laugh, love. I like that those are a smaller size. Focus on the positive. But first coffee, have a zest for life, cute. These are all frameable, so pretty. Love lives here. Happy winter, happy fall. Aw, follow your heart, I like that. Be full of joy, follow your arrow. Oh, so the images that we have in the back that are smaller, are just copies of the larger images. Each day is a gift. That's why it's called the present. <laughs> so cute. Maybe this one didn't have the cactus. Okay, so that's Life is Sweet by Paige, Tate & Co. Very pretty. And next we have How to Draw Modern Florals by Allie Koch. It's an introduction to the art of flowers, cacti, and more. Did you guys hear that? Cacti. We have a pretty gold foil and very clean and simple cover. I like this. I like the simplicity of this cover. It looks really, really nice. I really want to be a better artist. And I love cactus. I love flowers. I feel like I'm showing you guys just the practice pages. It shows you step by step how to draw these various things. I really like that. I like the step by step instruction. And then it gives, you know, specific directions like fill in most of the inner circle with small dots to create a darkened center. Yes, I need the picture, but I also need the tips. I want to find the cactus pages. Let's see, where are they? Succulents. Cactus. Hello, beautiful. The saguro. Then we have a practice page. We have another. We have a prickly pear pad. Cactus. Nice. And a succulent. Echeveria. I'm not sure, you guys, how to pronounce that one. You guys have seen this succulent, though. Zebra cactus, which is also a succulent. Very nice. Okay. So that was How to Draw Modern Florals by Allie Koch. I love the chalkboard theme. This is an introduction to chalkboard lettering, illustration design, and more. So on my personal to-do list or wish list is that at some point I want to have neater 
and better and prettier handwriting, whether it be on a chalkboard, a whiteboard, or on paper. I would like my handwriting to be nicer, and I'd also like to become a better artist as far as drawing is concerned, and other various arts as well. But that's something that's been on my life list. So I think this book is beautiful. It's a hard cover, has a nice spiral. It's so pretty. Has really nice metal corners. This is Chalk Art and Lettering 101. It's by Shannon Roberts and Amanda Arneal. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's beautifully done. We have a nice table of contents. Negative space, grids and guidelines, flourish time, etc., etc. We meet our artists. We have a welcome page. Making your chalkboard even tells us how to make a chalkboard. That's always fun to do. My parents have a big chalkboard wall at their house and the kids love it. This book is so nice. We have an anatomy glossary so we can understand the words that they're using throughout the book. This book is so nice. I read a story one time, you guys, about this artist. She was a chalkboard artist in Manhattan, I believe. And she would trade her services for food. And I think it was she would trade her services for two meals. This artist, she basically would eat for free at all of these amazing restaurants that she would create her chalkboard art for. I don't remember where I read that story, you guys. I just thought, wow, that's nice. That's a nice way to barter. It was a few years ago. There's always a bright side. What do you guys think? <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Depth and dimension. Very nice. This is a really, really nice book. That's just a sneak peek. I made it to page 59, but there are many more pages, over 100 pages. This book is nice and thick, pure quality and beauty. I really love how it looks. I just like seeing these things. I just love all the shading and I love the black background and it's just so pretty. Okay, I have one more book to share with you guys. And this is called Hand Lettering 201. So we kind of have the next stage. Intermediate Lettering and Design Basics. Again, very pretty. We have the gold corners and it's spiral bound. It feels just like the other book. It's really nice. Plenty of room to practice. Oh, I like this already. My best friend, I think her handwriting is so cute and nice. Pretty much everyone's handwriting is nicer and neater and cuter than mine. And I just feel like I'm kind of a messy writer. So I have a few of these books in my collection. And one day, I'm going to tackle this and I'm going to have really cute, neat handwriting. Let's see if I can break my habit. I love this font. The paper is really thick and nice. This is the Kate alphabet. The last one we looked at was the Emma alphabet. This is the Hillary alphabet. I'm really loving all of these so far. The Alexa alphabet, which is a little bolder. The 
the alley alphabet. So, you know, you could just thumb through the pages, see which one appeals to you, and go for it. Really cute. Again, that was Hand Lettering 201. Well, hey, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. There will definitely be more to come. If you are enjoying these, let me know down in the comments that you want to see more. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this haul. And if you guys haven't yet, go ahead and hit that little button and subscribe. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.